increasing. We have a lot of confidence that this is uh, uh, the hour for the South Coast. More good news for Coos Bay from Oregon Senator Ron Wyden. His office announced today that an additional $29 million in federal funding is heading to the port's intermodal terminal project. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jennifer Singh in for Matt. Renee is still out. That $29 million is on top of the $25 million announced just last week. As we first told you last week, this intermodal port project is expected to be the nation's first fully shipped to rail terminal. I sat down with Ron Wyden yesterday who says the additional money Money will be used to improve and repair additional rail lines in the area and to help tie up any loose ends. Senator Wyden says this project is going to be a game changer for the South Coast. It's expected to bring more than 8,000 jobs to the area, including apprenticeship opportunities through the local community college. But with so many new job and investment opportunities expected to open up with this project, I asked the senator how he plans to help the South Coast accommodate a likely population boom. As chairman of the Finance Committee, I'm leading the way on two tax proposals. There's something called LITEC, the Low Income Housing Tax Credit, which we're going to push very hard next year. And there'll be something called MITEC, the Middle Income Housing Tax Credit. Those kind of targeted tax incentives are just tailor-made for the South Coast. He says they're thinking ahead about all of the housing, services, and necessities the South Coast will need as the project progresses, which he says adds to the economic benefits. Overall, Senator Wyden says this has been in the works for a long time and will have major benefits for the entire state. He says going forward, he hopes this project can be an example for other coastal border states.